Recently, you posted on Twitter uh, a list, I believe it was from Uproxx, about the uh, 20 best whiskeys under $50. I mean, you posted, posted 40 multiple 40 to 50, lists, I think, yes. But it was uh, 20 under 50. It was, had some sort of catchy title, as Uproxx tends to do. Yes. Uh, and we scanned through that, kind of looking at some of the different ones. Some of them we actually have had. Uh, before yep. and we have done reviews of them if you want to go and look for those you can go in the archives about beverages uh, and uh, search for those either on YouTube or on our website uh, and if you want to see the full list uh, hit that up on Twitter you can, you can yep, find that out because it, it was interesting always good for yeah. conversation starting right. uh, which is I think what you said so unbeknownst to part of that list because I had not seen it <laughs> I was actually out uh, able to make some whiskey purchases and I actually bought the number one bottle on that list of what they said was the best one for under $50 so guess number what? one, numero uno. Shockingly, I brought it to the tasting table, <laughs> opening it for the first time for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are aboutbeverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is the Maker's Mark Cast Strength Bourbon Whiskey. That is correct. This one comes in at 110.7 proof, 55.35% alcohol. This is batch number 22. O2. There are different batches, obviously, yep. uh, so your mileage may vary on, on those. When I bought this one, it was actually right around like fifty-one dollars, but I have seen it for forty-eight. So his his list is accurate. His list yeah, is and and accurate. and he mentions in that that just it's it's based kind of the pricing is based on where he is. I think in a, like a total wine in Kentucky or something like that. So, um, and this uh, also it says it's made with uh, from uh, nineteen different uh, barrels. I think that's what it I said. did see something about um, that on there so. as well. Um, I was not expecting this. I have not had Maker's Mark in a long time. Uh, apparently, it's a screw cap. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I, 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 got, I got the wax off, which is obviously their signature wax that they do where they dip that. If you actually go to uh, the distillery, you can actually dip yep. your own bottle and make your own kind of a, a bottle, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I like was kind of doing this, and then I was like, oh. So anyway, screw cap. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I they put the wax well. on. You took the wax on. I did. I did. We went uh, very much Karate Kid right <laughs> yes. there. Um, but yeah, let's let's just get pouring and get right into okay. it. Yeah, because we you just opened this, so this is going to need a little time to de uh, with all the all the aromatics and uh, the esters and all the the, the volatile content of this. Going to need a little time to. Breathe. Even other volatile content can be found on our website about beverages. Ooh, volatile <laughs> Wait, content. No, no. The home of volatile content. The home of volatile uh, content. No. Um, Maker's Market is another, I believe it is a weeded whiskey as well. So I think yes. that's kind of where it, uh, it yep. fits into that playing field. I usually have, Maker's Market has always been fine for me, yep. but it's not one I usually gravitate toward or, or look for. So I'm, I am excited to try this. Uh, this is definitely right in my wheelhouse. I like the 100, 110 proof is kind of my favorite uh, spot. Like I said, it's not you know, watered down quite as much, gives you usually a little more flavor, hopefully a little more body, yeah. uh, a little more of everything that you're looking for. So you can control that. Then if you do want to add, you, you do that yourself. That is an excellent point. Yes. Yeah. Like I said, if you need to proof it down just a little bit yourself, get some uh, distilled water, just put like very, it's surprising Boop. how little you have to put in there. So you can always, you can always add more. You can't take any water back out. <laughs> At least if you found that process, let us know uh, how to do that. But um, a little on the lighter side, but just kind of nice honey. Any color, I would say. Yep. Maybe a little, a little red in there, but uh, yep. what you would expect. Yep. <clears throat> Go in for the sniff. Absolutely. Caramel. Caramel? And Maybe like, I, this is going to sound maybe a little weird. I get like a bubble gum almost. There's like something that's like a, like a bubble, bubble, like bubble, like generic pink bubble gum. There's something in there that's really? like that, like that kind of, okay. like I said, along with the caramel. It could just be the high fruit in there is making me think of it. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. There's, like, a, little, there's but, a high fruit note. I do get that. Definitely, so, and definitely the alcohol kind of coming through, like some little bit of that coming through. But yeah, mostly a little bit of caramel, maybe a, a little, little bit, bit of, of touch of honey, maybe. I was going to say a little honey or maybe even a little spice in there, too. It's a nice nose, not Very, overly complex, yeah. but like nice. Yeah. I like it. Caramel popcorn, maybe almost. I'm interested in Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that actually sounds good right now. Now I'm just hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry, and I also want you some gum afterwards. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Definitely has the heat. At least at the front. I would say, yeah, there's a little spice at the front, but I think the finish is very smooth. Finish is smooth. I definitely get much more oak, char, like that kind of character kind of comes through in this flavor. The caramel is nice, blends in there. I, I don't get as much like those notes that I talked about of like higher fruit, almost yeah. like a little bit of bubble gum or something else going on in there. The honey, it's more toward the lower end of all those things mixed in with the wood. I, I actually like this quite a bit. This is good. I like this. This is actually quite tasty. Yeah, the finish to me is very smooth. A little bit of spice on the front of the tongue, but like yeah. that, especially on second, third, like you go into multiple sips, it doesn't stay there like some things we've had. Yeah. Like, ooh, that's just hot. Like, yeah. ooh, that's just spicy. I, I think this definitely... A <clears throat> little bit. The body isn't like 
super heavy but or super full but it does leave a little bit of a oily coating which is good there's a little viscosity a little i wish bit. it had a just a pinch more body yeah. maybe that'd be 112 proof not 110 <laughs> point whatever just a um, little bit more just proof. a touch more um but no this is actually this is this is very solid especially for like I said, this proof i think it i think it is much smoother than the proof would initially uh hit for some people i think like I said, because I've had plenty of whiskeys where they're, you know, 95 per, and they're, it's like still spicy on the front. And yeah. Do not have this clean and smooth of a finish. So I know this is Yeah, definitely warms yeah, the, the front, the, the front palate. And that's where all the, like the heat is. And then, yeah, in the back, you just get the, the, the flavor, com, flavor notes. So no, that's good. No, the oak. Yeah. Oak, caramel, little, <laughs> little smoke, little like, like char kind of thing in there. Maybe a little leather, like a little bit of that kind of going on. That's really nice. Like, I think that, no, I think that's solid at that price. Like I said, yeah, if you can find that around 50 bucks, like I said, I think he was, that person was very accurate. Do we know what his name was? The author's I, name? I don't off the top know. Of my head? Probably it's should. Bob Maybe we should, we should even uh, Bob maybe reach Uprox out with as many uh, the, the things as I, you know, post to Twitter. I know. Reach and, out. Somebody, and, will, somebody by God is going to respond. And to then us. we actually do podcasts on him too, yeah. no less. It's, yeah. it's pretty funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> then it works that way. <laughs> uh, if you want to go in the archives and find other podcasts that maybe we have done from lists that we did not create, uh, you can find them at our website about beverages.com or uh, obviously you can go to YouTube if you just want the latest videos. Hit the subscribe button there. We would greatly appreciate that. Uh, if you only want audio, very, very easy to find as well. Google Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, uh, all of those things uh, you can find about beverages. If you just want to search for about beverages on your favorite podcasting app, you can probably find us there too, as well as well some other things across the uh, mm, internet. What are those things? The social media oh, universe. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The three pillars of social media. Did, was the proof too high that you forgot? I just, it totally took everything out. Okay. Just yeah. took it. <laughs> uh, the, the, yes, social media. You will find us on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, uh, which is we, the one that we use most of all to keep you, uh, yeah, most of all. I think we do. Yeah, pretty sure. That's true. Uh, to keep you up to date on what is going on here at About Beverages, like earlier this evening when I tweeted that we were about to go live on twitch.tv slash About Beverages, which we do most Thursday evenings. Um, depending on where you are in the country, it could range anywhere from 4.30 to 7.30. Perfect. And it depends if we're on time as well. Oh, that which, is also a key. <laughs> which, you know, we're getting better at that. Ish. For sure. Ish. Yes. Uh, so when we get together, we'll try some uh, beverages, hang out with everybody who joins us in chat. Uh, and also throughout the week, Andrew will keep you up to date on what is he, what he is doing in the gaming world and what he will be drinking while he is doing that. So for all the latest on About Beverages, follow us on Twitter. But, as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs>